he's one of our favourites, from Rove to The Project to I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, comedian Peter Hellier has been bringing the laughs to our screens for years. When I was younger, the, the idea of 40 was very... Uh, but uh, now I'm here, I don't feel old. I feel like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm young enough to know what a selfie is, but too old to kind of completely understand Netflix and chill. I don't... Uh, three months ago, my wife went out for a girls' night and the kids went to bed early, and I, I texted my mate, I said, hey, come over. Kids are in bed. Wife's out. Netflix and chill, yeah? You know what I thought it was? Come over, watch Netflix and chill out. I'm not sure how I came to that conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> they make true, it, the kids make it so hard. They make days. it really difficult. But now he's taking us on a much more personal journey, uncovering his ancestry in the new show, Who Do You Think You Are? And the legend himself joins us live from Melbourne. Hey, Pete, hey, how Pete. are you? Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Dave. How are you doing? I'm just ordering a massage chair, actually, so I'm just formalising <laughs> the... Dawn Fraser's sending one over to you right now, buddy. <laughs> if, if it's good enough for Dawn, it's good enough for me. She's Dawn's legend. not included. Um, <laughs> what inspired you to learn more about your family history? Tell us about this. Yeah, Sylvia, this is... I mean, this is a real honour of a show to do. This is a real... It's like some... The work they do to take you on this little Easter egg hunt, um, you know, for through your family history, is is amazing and and I, I, this sounds kind of saccharine but I, I i kind of did it for my family this is out of all the things i do i usually do it for myself or you know <laughs> because it's going to be fun but this was something i really wanted to do uh, as a like a, i guess a gift to my family we've always been kind of curious as to what our history was there were lots of spots we didn't know about and um and this is a great way of finding out so i don't want to spoil too much for the people who are going to watch the show tonight but can you tell us maybe something that you uncovered you know right now yeah, yeah, we, there are lots of surprises, some twists and turns, but the one thing I guess I, I did find out, um, which was kind of really surprised me, um, was my great-grandfather uh, fought at Gallipoli, and um, wow. we had no idea. We wow. had no, no idea. My mum didn't know. Um, and not only did he fight there, but he was at a pretty high point there, and and, and the... And I celebrate or commemorate Anzac Day every year, and I read about various Anzacs, and... and um, and to know this story now is is, is quite uh, quite amazing. And um, his story about how he got to serve um, in in Gallipoli and then what happened afterwards is is, is quite a story, actually. Wow. So, um, well, that's going to bring even more significance uh, to Anzac Day for you in the future, isn't it? Um, we also know that you are a AFL tragic. Is he? I had I wanted to that. say fanatic, but I think tragic might be the better word. <laughs> um, and you've discovered a link. To the support that goes way to the sport rather that goes way back. Tell us about that. Sylvia, there's nothing tragic about being a Collingwood supporter, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry for everybody else. Easy up. There are people who would disagree. <laughs> but, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's I mean, I've tried to get as close to being an AFL footballer as I can by wearing a, a silly blonde mullet wig over the years. But um to discover that uh, in my ancestry there's somebody who actually did play um at a, at a high level, basically, you know, for um, for one of the, a couple of the clubs, actually, I won't I won't, I won't reveal which ones, um, but um, yeah, was really involved in in the early days of of what now is the AFL. Um, kind of gives me, you know, I, I walk a little bit, you know, prouder and a little bit high, uh, taller when I when I walk through the gates at the MCG now. So that was um, that was interesting. But it, there was a few shocks in, in 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 there as well. There were some things I, w I wasn't happy about being a, I guess being a Tragic Collingwood supporter, is he? <laughs> yeah. He played for Carlton, didn't he? <laughs> I, mean, I can't say. I can't say. And I don't want to relive any of that trauma, please. I, love it. I tell you what, though, there's going to be a few stand-up specials after this. It's great yeah. to have you on, Legend. It's good to see you well. You're looking well. Uh, thanks, thanks, guys. Always uh, thanks for having me, and uh, yeah, love you both. Enjoy oh, the pleasure, massage mate. chair, buddy. We'll see you soon. Oh, well, I'll see you both after this. You're very quick. Yeah, yeah oh, we're yeah, fast. Totally. We're fast. Hey there, today, fans. Sarah and. What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?